Hey folks, Jonathan again. Uh, back started on the steam chest here. Just wanted to show you I've got it bent and uh, cleaned up. We'll, we'll clamp it and weld it. And then uh, we're going to make our slide valve next, I believe. I think we're going to actually use this. This is the only thing I got around a piece of bronze. I'll split it in half and do some machining on it, but I'll show you that here a little bit shortly. I'm going to go ahead and get this welded up. Okay, folks, we got it all welded up here and on there. And uh, I think she's going to do really good. Uh, the bronze piece here, uh, split it in half. And this will be just one side of it, will be our, our D valve. And uh, I'm going to machine it down flat. And then. Uh, do some machining in the top. We've got to have it where we can hook the rod up, and then uh, I think we will, uh, you know, have to concave the inside for the flow. And I might do that rounded on my uh, horizontal mill, and that way when the air flows in it, it'll, you know, it's got to come in and then straight back down. So if we can put a curve in it, I think it would help it out a little bit. Uh, but I'll show you as we go. And like I said, it's just going to sit inside and slide back and forth basically is all it's going to do so uh, I think that'll work out real good I uh, didn't have any brass so I think bronze will do just fine but, uh, the box you know come out pretty good I uh, don't think we'll have any problems with it any issues so I left it on the outside far enough that we could you know drill through it we're going to get our top plate on and then we'll we'll actually come down through top plate and then right on the inside edge of this and uh, I didn't weld it on the inside, but right on the inside edge of this, and that's that's how we'll uh, we'll run the bolts to hold it down. And then, uh, of course, gasket for the bottom. I'll machine this off, you know, good and smooth. And then I'll uh, make a gasket for the top, and uh, so drill the holes, put the bolts in. I don't don't see any other issues here. You know, we still got to do our our hole in the rear on this side for the uh, for the rod, and then uh, we'll have to seal it off so it don't leak, and then. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll keep at it. I'll show you more shortly. Okay, we got it machined off here smooth. You see the the other side there. But uh, what we got to do now, we got to figure out, of course, it's going to be a chamber inside here. And, uh, you know, that chamber is what, you know, directs the steam or the air to go where it needs it to go in the on the valve. Uh, got to be able to hook a rod to it. You know, most of them's got a cross in it, and then uh, sometimes like a square nut in the center or something. But you know, that leaves me with the issue of how deep to go with the uh, the piece. I wanted to do it on the horizontal mill and round it, and I may just do it on the vertical and just cup it out into a square like like all the others I've seen. But uh, I think we'll do the top side first and see see what we need to do on getting it. Uh, getting it hooked up and basically what you see is it's just going to go back and forth and uh, you know direct your your flow so it's not complicated just uh, a lot of little things you got to get figured out on it. but uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do on that and maybe machine some of the top side and I'll show you more okay folks we've got it uh, kind of machined the way we want it put a t-slot in it uh, cut the bottom machined out. I just done that by hand, so it's not not anything beautiful. I mean, on the middle machine, of course, but uh, this fits down inside. You can see the square nut that holds it, and uh, it'll go in the uh, steam chest like that, and uh, of course, just slide back and forth. The uh, no, the bolt's a little bit high. Might be a little bit of a problem uh, when it comes to our, our seal. Of course, we're not going to have a bolt in it. We're going to have a piece of linkage in it, but uh, might have to do a little bit of modifying or or maybe lower it down a little bit more. We you know, don't want to get too low. You can see the slots machined out inside here. And, uh, of course, it's cupped out, so... Uh, I, and I stayed well within what I, 
you know, needed to. That way, if it does wear or anything, I mean, I don't think it's going to wear inside there. But I mean, if it was happening to wear some, that nut, it won't uh, won't go through for a long time. And uh, I think uh, I think this will work out fine. But we will see. And uh, but that's what's called a D valve, and you can see it shaped like the letter D. So. And uh, I guess that's why they call it that, but uh, I think it's going to work out good. You know, everything's finished up on that, and uh, like I said, we'll get we'll get the linkage done, and then make our top plate. Of course, we've still got to drill and tap everything, and uh, but our you know our valve is the worst part. Our eccentrics, you know, won't be too bad, and of course, one piece of linkage uh, coming off the eccentric to a an arm, and then we'll set the height on it for the that way we'll have the right length you know to go from front to back and then we'll we'll time it and I think it will uh, I think it'll work out you know work out fine uh, I don't see any problems anyway uh, still got to do our holes down here and I'm debating I may try something I don't know how well it would hold but if I was to preheat this some and uh, clean it up, sandblast inside them holes, and possibly fill it full of lead, pour it. Uh, that may do it. I don't know, I might have to do some checking before I do anything. Maybe make two pieces of metal here that to enclose that hole off and then pour it full. And we're gonna do something to block it off, I mean, to, to try to take up some of that area. And, uh, you know, we don't need it still filling with steam down there to work the way we, we want it to anyway. And, uh, We'll get back on it. Uh, I wanted to uh, just tell everybody I appreciate them for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, be sure and hit it. It's free. It don't cost anything. And of course, if uh, when I do new videos, it'll be up and on there. I uh, was hoping to do some uh, winch outs and recovery videos, but it's been so dry here that we haven't even had any of them in a little while. And uh, you know, I usually get into pulling a lot of mobile homes. You know, dragging them when they get stuck with them and, uh, you know, cement trucks and a little bit of everything. A lot of, you know, big recoveries, equipment recoveries and stuff. But uh, I guess until it rains, we're not going to have any. But when we do, I'll post them. Uh, I've been real lucky here. You know, I hadn't had to run out of the shop too too much. And, uh, you know, this especially this week so far and, and running record calls, is, it, you know, keeps me pretty busy sometimes. And uh, I've got to driver that you know runs too so he he's got to make a living so i can't do all of them anyway and uh you know if uh the other morning i think before 9:30 in the morning i had done five calls and uh so you you just you never know some days are busy and some aren't but uh, but you know like i said if you haven't subscribed subscribe uh thumbs up if you like it and uh be sure and you know post something there down below I've uh, I try to answer all of them of course and you know if anybody's got any questions or suggestions even because I'm just doing what we what we think's right here not necessarily what is right but what we think's right so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here a little bit short but uh, I think this will be part three and part four will be coming up soon and uh, so we'll see you soon bye